Hi students, exercise number 2.6, question number 5. The one fourth term and the fourth term of an APR given as 125 and then 0. We want to find the sum of first 35 terms. The term 1, 4 and the, the fourth terms are given. We want to find the sum of first 35 terms solution. We know that in AP, the general term of AP is Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D is the formula. Right? Here, the 104th term is given means the term T104 is equal to 125. See, 104 and 4 are given as 125 and 0. Right? So, 104th term I take it as 125 means. Here, 104 can be written in the form A plus 104 minus 1, that is A plus 104 minus 1 is 103, D is equal to 125, I take equation number 1. By the second condition, the fourth term of A, B is, that is T4 is equal to 0. So, T n means it is the formula, in the formula we are applying the value 4, so a plus 4 minus 1 is 3, d is equal to 0, I take equation number 2. By subtracting the first and second equation, we can be able to find the d value, right? By 1 minus 2, what is the first equation? A plus 103 d is equal to 125. And then the second equation is A plus 3d is equal to 0. When we subtract it, we have to change the symbol. So, here we have the symbol, we have to change it to negative, the opposite symbol, right? So, plus a minus a both are cancelled. Here, 103 d minus 3d is equal to, here we have to change the symbol, right? 103 minus 3 is equal to 100 d is equal to 125. Here we want to find out what is the d value. Here, D is equal to 125 divided by, I take this 100 to another side, it is divided, so 25 5 is 25 4 is so D is equal to 5 by 4. By using the D, either we can apply in the second or first equation to find the value of A. Here, I take the second equation from 2, we have the equation A plus 3D, right? equal to 0. In the place of D, I am going to replace the value 5 by 4. So, A is equal to 3 times of 5 by 4 is equal to 0. Then, A 3 by 15 divided by 4 is equal to 0. You want to find A value, I take this plus 15 divided by 4 to another side, we get minus 15 divided by 4. Now, we know the first term, A is the first term of AP and the D is the common difference. Now we want to find out the sum of the first 35 terms. We have to find the sum of the AP means we have a formula that is SN is equal to, here we know the first term A and then common difference D. So we use the formula N divided by 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Sum of the AB. It is all of the formula to find the sum of the AB. Here we want to find out 35 terms. So in the place of N, I have the value S, S 35 sum of S 35 means sum of the 35 terms of AB. Here we have 35 divided by 2 into 2 times of A value is minus 15 divided by 4. plus n minus 1. So n is 35. So 35 minus 1 is 34. And then d value is your 5 by 4 is the d value, right? Now this term is equal to 35 divided by 2. Here 2 1s are 2 2 are. So minus 15 divided by 2. If you divide by 2, you get to 17. Right? 5 7s are 35, 5 into 3, 5 into 
5 also 5 plus 3 18. 85 divided by 2. Now, when the base are equal, when the base are equal, we can add or subtract the numerator. Right? So here we have 35 divided by 2 into 85 minus 15 is equal to 70 divided by 2. Right? When the base are equal, directly we can add or subtract the numerator. So here 70 divided by 2. Here 2 1s are 2 35 sir. So the term is 35 into 35 divided by 2. Now multiple plus 35 into 35. 5 5 is 25, 5 into 2 and then 5 is 15 plus 2 is 1 75, right? 3 5 is 15, 5 into 1, 3 3 is 9 plus 1, 10. So sum of this value is 5. 2, 2, 1. So 1, 2, 2, 5 divided by 2. 1, 2, 2, 5 divided by 2. And then now if you divide this down by 2, 2, 6 are 12. And then 2, 2, 1s are 2, and then 5. 2, 2 are 4, and then 1. 4, 1 point, and add 0. Then 2, 5s are 10. So we get that divided by 0. So the sum of 35 terms is equal to 612.5 is the sum of the first 35 terms of AP. Next we see the exercise number 2.6, question number 1. Find the sum of the following. Here the row number y I take that the given sequence is 3, 7, 11 up to the 40 terms. Now, always we know that the first term is A, that is the first term A. So, A is equal to 3 and then N is equal to, we have to find the 40 term, first term up to the 40 terms. So, here N is equal to 40. Now, we want to find out the last term is unknown. Here, last term is not given. See, 3, 7, 11 and goes on. But last term is not given. But here we have d is equal to. We can able to find the common difference of the sequence. If d is equal to second term minus first term, t2 minus t1. The t2 is 7 minus t1 is 3. Then d is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So a and d values now. We want to find out the sum of the Terms. Sum of the terms we have the formula that is S n is equal to n divided by 2 into 2 n plus n minus 1 into d. Now here we want to find out sum of 40 terms. So in the place of n I put the value 40 is equal to here 40 divided by 2 into 2 times of a 3 plus n is 40, 40 minus 1 is 39. And then D is 4. So multiple this term. Here I reduce this 20 to get 40 divided by 2 is 20. 2 3 is 6 plus 4 9 is 36. 6 remainder 3. 4 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 50. 50 right? 156. Now sum of this term is equal to 20 s 40 is equal to sum of First part of terms is equal to 20 into 156 plus 6 is equal to 162. It is the product, right? Just multiply the term. In the last term, put 0. 2 2s are 4. 2 6 are 12. 2 remainder 1. 2 1s are 2 plus 1 is 3. So, sum of the first 40 terms of the sequence 3, 7, 11 is 3240. Next we see the question number 3 in exercise number 2.6. Find the sum of first 28 terms of an AP whose nth term is given as 4n minus 3. The nth term is given. So the we want to find the sum of first 28 terms of an AP. Here Tn is equal to the nth term is 4n minus 3. At least we want to know first three terms to find out the common difference, right? Here, 
the first term is t1 in the place of n I apply the value 1 that is 4 into 1 minus 3 4 into 1 is 4 4 minus 3 is 1 so t1 is nothing but the first term of ap next we want to find out what is t2 second term is equal to in the place of n I apply the value 2 4 into 2 minus 3 then 4 to 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. This is T2. I find out the next term T3 is equal to because that is enough, two term is enough to find the common difference, but we have to check the third term also if the sequence is the AP or not, right? So 4 into 3 minus 3. 4 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. That is the term. 3 is 9. So 1, 5, 9 is the AP. 1, 5, 9, and it goes on. This is in the form of AP, right? So always the first term is 1. So A is equal to 1. And how many terms do you want to find out? The sum of first 28 terms you want to find out. So N is equal to 28. Next, we want to find out the common difference. Here D is equal to we know the formula second term minus first term T2 minus T1 is equal to what is the second term here? The second term is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. If you take T3 minus T2 also, 9 minus 5 also, you get the 4, right? So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4, therefore D is equal to 4. Now we want to find out the sum of the first 28 terms. For this, we have the sum of the series formula that is SN is equal to here also we don't know the last term, only we know the A and D. So we use the formula n by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. Now in the place of A is 28 and A is 1, D is equal to 4. So yes, 28 is equal to 28 divided by 2 into 2 into 1 a plus here l is 28 28 minus 1 is 27 and then d is 4 now if you reduce this you get 14 2 1s are 2 plus 4 7s are 28 8 divided by 2 4 2s are 8 plus 2 is 10 that is 180. Right? Sum of this term is equal to 14 into 110. Now multiply this term, the last term you get 0, 11, 14 is right? 4, 5, 1. So 1540 is the sum of 28 terms. So sum of the 28 terms of the sequence 4 and minus 3 is 1514. Hi students. Next we see the question number 6 in exercise number 2.6. Find the sum of all, all positive integer. All positive integer that is less than 450, right? So first we know that what are the odd numbers? That is 1, 3, 5, these are the odd numbers up to less than 450. Less than 450 means that is 449 is the number that is the odd number. Less than 450, right? These are the odd positive integers. We want to find the sum of these terms, right? Here we know the first term is a that is 1, and then here we know the last term here is equal to 449, and then if you want to find the sum of this terms means how many terms you want to know first of all you want to know the what is the nth term that is the we want to find out so here d is equal to second term minus first term second term is here 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so d is equal to 2 to find the nth term of the sequence that is n is equal to L minus A divided by D plus 1 is the formula. In this formula, we have applied the terms 
to find the n value. Here l is equal to the last term is 4, 4, 9 minus a is equal to 1 divided by d is 2 plus 1. Then 449 minus 1 is equal to 448 divided by 2 plus 1. Right? Then L is equal to, if you divide this term, we get 224. 224 plus 1 is equal to 225. So this is the nth term. So here we have two formula to find the sum of the AP terms. Right? So SN is equal to Sn is equal to n divided by 2 into then we know the last term, we directly apply the last term that is a plus n. If you don't know the last term, we use the formula n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here we know the last term, so I get the formula of in the place of n, we have found that it is 225 is equal to 225 divided by 2 into a first term is 1 and then the last term is 4 49 then 225 divided by 2 into sum of this term is equal to 450 now divided by 2 we get 225 then we have to multiply that is 225 into 225 now 5 5 is 25, 5 divided by 2, 5 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 2, 2 divided by 1, 5 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Then we do the second term, C2 into 225 is 450, you know that, right? 2 5 is 10, 0 divided by 1, 2 2 is 4 plus 1, 5, right? 2 2 is 4, that is 450. The next term also multiplied by 2, we get 450. Now sum of this term is equal to 5, 2, 6, 0, 5. So sum of 225 odd numbers is 5, 0, 6, 2, 5. Odd positive, the sum of all odd positive integer less than 450 is 5, 0, 6, 2, 5. Assurance. Next question number 12 in exercise number 2.6. Find the sum of, see the term is given, we have to find up to 12 terms. Up to we have to find the sum of 12 terms of the AB, right? So, the first term of AB series is A is given as A minus B divided by A plus B. A minus B divided by a plus b. We don't know the last term what is right, but here we have the nth term n is equal to 12 is given. Now we can able to find what is the common difference of this series, right? Second term minus first term, the common difference we know that b is equal to second term minus first term. Here second term is 3a minus 2b divided by a plus b. This is the second term. This is the first term. So second term is 3a minus 2b divided by a plus b minus minus of the first term. Open the bracket and a minus b divided by a plus b. When you remove this bracket, we get the negative value and then we see the denominators are equal so we can add or subtract the numerator directly. So here 3a minus 2b, here we have minus of a minus b divided by a plus b. Right? When you remove the bracket, here we get 3a minus 2b minus into plus minus a minus into minus plus b divided by a plus b. Then b is equal to 3a minus a is equal to 2a, right? And then here we have minus 2b plus b minus 2 plus 1. If you subtract, we get minus. I just tell you as a minus. Minus b divided by a plus b. Then b is equal to 2a minus b divided by a plus b. Now we want to find out sum of n 12 term. Sn, first we have find the formula. Sn is equal to, here we don't know the last term, right? So we have the formula n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Right? In the place, we have to apply the value of a, d and then n. Right? Here we want to find out 12th term. 
sum of whole term is equal to 12 divided by 2 into 2 into a. Here the a value is a minus b divided by a plus b. 2 into a minus b divided by a plus b plus of a is 12. 12 minus 1 is 7 into the d value is here 2a minus b divided by a plus b. Now substitute this, we get 6. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now we multiply this 2, we get 2 into a minus 2 into b divided by a plus b plus here 11 also multiple the term 11 2 is 42 a here we have plus symbol so there is no change in the term so 11 into minus b is minus 11 b divided by a plus b next see here also we want to take a step is first of all see the denominator the denominator both the terms are equal so directly we can add or subtract the numerator so 6 into the denominator is a plus b right see 2a plus 22a is equal to 24a minus 2b minus 11b is equal to minus 13b so sum of this 12 terms is equal to 6 into 24a minus 13b divided by a plus b is the answer as students Today we are going to see the geometric progressions. Geometric progressions means the sequence may be arranged in some specific order. If the sequence having a common ratio, common ratio is equal means then we can say it is a geometrical progression. Next see the definition. A geometrical progression is a sequence in which each term is obtained by a multiple of a fixed non-zero numbers. Multiple of a fixed non-zero numbers to be preceding terms except the first term. The fixed number is called the common ratio and we do it as in a R. Right? Here, A is the first term. A into R. A is the second term. And A, R into R, R square. Right? Multiply of a fixed non-zero numbers. Here the fixed non-zero number is R. So next next term we have to multiply the R terms. Next we have to multiply the R term by three times. R into R into R means R cube up to A R over n minus one. It goes on. By this is the general form of the geometrical progressions. Now we want to find the common ratios are equal. How to find the common ratio? Here the ratio means we know that t2 is to t1, right? The ratio can be written in the form of division. So the common ratio R we wrote it in the symbol of R. Common ratio R is equal to second term divided by first term. Second term divided by first term. By here, if we take the second term as a r divided by a is the first term, a a is cancelled, we get r, and then t3 divided by t2 means the third term is a r square divided by the second term is a r, we get that r. So we we'll get the common ratio or equal. So the common ratio r is equal to the form of t2 divided by t1. Next we have the general term of g p. Next we have the general term of g p. We denote it as t n is equal to general term of a p. T n is equal to a into r power n minus one. Now substitute the n value. N is equal to one to three into cos of first value. Right? If we substitute the n value in this term, we get the general form of the g p. Geometric progression. So general is Tn is equal to a into r over n minus 1. Next we see the in geometric progression. We see the three consecutive terms and the four consecutive terms. See here we have the geometrical form right here. A, A R, A R square is the geometrical form that is a progression. Now we have write the three consecutive term means Terms of GP, three consecutive terms of G. 
जी टी एस ए बाई आर ए ए आर इज द्री कंसिक्यूटिव ऑफ जी पी ए आर द कॉमन डिफरेंट कॉमन रेशो इज आर एंड देन वी हैव फोर कंसिक्यूटिव The four consecutive terms we have the common ratio as R square. That is, A by R cube, A by R, A R, and then A R cube. And then we see the the condition of three terms must be a GP matrix. We have one form. The condition of three terms of the GP. Let me take this A, B, C, R in GP. If the condition this A B C R G P means we have the form that is B square is equal to A into C. See the middle term square of the middle term is equal to product of the first and third term. The squares of the middle term is equal to the product of the first and the third term. For general term, if I take this term as a जी पी नाम चेक इट फर्स्ट टर्म इज ए एंड देन थर्ड टर्म इज ए आर स्क्वायर इन दिस टर्म आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई द बी स्क्वायर इज मिडिल टर्म दैट इज ए आर होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फर्स्ट टर्म इज ए एंड देन सी टर्म इज ए आर स्क्वायर इनटू ए आर स्क्वायर नाउ स्क्वायर दिस टर्म वी गेट ए स्क्वायर ए स्क्वायर आर स्क्वायर एंड देन ए इनटू ए A square, R square. So this term is equal by three terms are in GP means we have the form B square is equal to A into C. That is the middle term is equal to first term into third term. Next we see the sum to n terms of GP. Sum to n terms of a GP. We want to add the sum of the terms. Let me take as S is equal to the first term is A, second term is R, A R square up to ये आर होगा एन माइनस का होगा। We want to add the sum of the term of G P means we have the form of S n is equal to A into R power n minus one divided by R minus one. This is the formula. Now here this formula can be used like this also. That is S n is equal to A into one minus R power n divided by one minus R. Both are equal. Both are same. Here, when this formula is using this, there is R is greater than one. The value of ratio is greater than one. We use the formula, and then here the value of R is less than one. Means we use this formula, and then suppose it is R is greater than one, R less than one. Then suppose R is equal to one. When R is equal to one, means see in the Term of sum of this term, if R is equal to one, which we get A plus A plus A R square also one square is one, and then R over one minus one is also we get the same term, right? So S n is equal to A plus A plus A up to A power n term up to the A A n term right up to the n term. It goes on, right? So we take as the S n is equal to n of a up to a is equal to n to the we have n of a. Here up to a up to the n to the means we have S n is equal to n of n into a is the form. Right? Next we have the infinite terms. Let me take this. Here, see S n is equal to last term is here we have n term. Suppose the S n is sum of the term is in infinite term means that is A, A R, and then A R square, A R cube, and it goes on. There is no end term. Up to it goes on infinite term means we have the formula S infinity is equal to A divided by one minus R. We want to find the infinite term of this. G P means this is the formula S infinite is equal to A divided by one minus R. Assurance. Today we are going to see the second chapter, numbers and sequence. In numbers and sequence, now 
we are going to see sum of first and natural number. Sum of first and natural number means we know that 1, 2, 3. The sum of that number is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n terms, right? In that another form we can write in the term as a summation of summation of n term means we take it as k here k is equal to 1 to n both are the same if you apply the k value 1 to 3 we get that this symbol is the which for summation of summation of so, so sum of the first n natural number we have the form of n into n plus 1 divided by 2 is the sum of the first n natural number next we have the sum of first n odd natural number we know that odd means we have 2n plus 1 or 2n minus 1 or 2k plus 1 or 2k minus 1 so this is the odd natural number so odd natural number means 1, 3, 5, 7 up to n terms so you have to write in the summation form means this term is equal to summation of k is equal to 1, 1 to n here 2k minus 1 here 2k minus 1 k is equal to 1 to n so summation of first n odd natural number is equal to n square is the odd natural number sum of the n odd natural number okay, next we see the sum of squares of first n natural number squares of n natural number we know that that is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square sum of the squares of the natural number right here we have the form summation of k square here k is equal to 1 to n the formula is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 sum of squares of n natural number the formula is always first natural number right 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, then only we can apply this formula, right? In between the number, you cannot be able to use the formula. Next, sum of cubes of first n natural numbers. Cubes of n natural number, then we take this summation k cube, here k is equal to 1 to n, this term is equal to, when you apply the value 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, up to n cube. Here we have the formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square. This formula is nothing but a sum of natural numbers square term. Sum of the natural number we know that that is n into n plus 1 is the formula. So when we square this we get the sum of the first cube natural numbers. 